This video shows the use of the predictor software for construction noise projects. In this case, we're going to create two models. One model presenting the background noise and the other model for the construction noise itself. First, let's have a look at the background noise model. Here you see a Google Earth image as background and in the middle the construction site area. Surrounding the construction site are ha the houses and here's the road which generates the background noise. After the model has been calculated, noise contours can be shown as followed. In this case, you see the noise contours for the day period. In the 3D view, they look like this. You can see the barrier effect of the houses. And here there's a small green area behind these houses. So these noise levels represent the noise levels in the current situation. Now let's see how much noise the construction site itself creates. I open the second model, construction noise. Select Windows Tile Vertical. Now I can look at both models at the same time. At the right I see the background noise model and at the left I'm going to create the construction noise model. I can do that by first copying and pasting all the items from my existing model to the new model. I do this by selecting all, right mouse click copy, I click on the new model or right mouse click paste and now all items are copied from this model to this model and now I can concentrate on creating sources that represent the construction noise. Let's maximize this model and focus on the construction area. I want to create sources that represents for instance sewing or drilling or movement of trucks on the construction site area or around the construction site area. For selecting sound powers, Predictor offers a tool. It's called the Source DB. You can open the tool and then see if there are sound power levels for construction noise present. I select the industry type. I go to the construction and building industry. So the SourceDB database has some sources already, which represents sources used in the construction and building industry. Suppose I'm going to use a truck. I can copy to the clipboard. I can switch over to the construction noise model. I'm going to create a move moving source. That will be the truck drives on or around the construction site. In this case I'm going to move it around. It's a moving source and now I select from clipboard so the data from the source database is pasted in my moving source item. And this is the sound power level on a 3.8 dBA. Now I can also key in how many of these trucks are driving on the site in the day, evening and night period. Well, just for the sake of argument, say 10 in the day period, 5 in the evening and none in the night period. So now I've entered my truck. Next I'm going to enter another activity on the construction site. For instance, the noise created by a chainsaw. Switch over to the source DB. And here I see that there are several types of chainsaw in the database. I'm going to use this one, 94.9 dBA. Click on the button copy to clipboard and now I can use it in predictor after I've entered a point source, for instance here. Then I can say from clipboard and the name of the source from the source database is pasted in the point source item and also the sound power level is pasted. Next I'm going to enter multiple of these sources with the same sound power level. So I select OK and Same. I want to enter the chainsaw here, the chainsaw over here, over here. On five locations I've entered the chainsaw. Next 
I want to see the noise contours created by the chainsaw and the truck. I click on Start Calculation. And this is a small model, so this calculation is very quick within a second. And now I can show the noise contours with the chainsaw active and also the mobile truck active. Now let's have a look at both models. Select window tile vertical. And at the right I see the background noise model created by the road. And at the left I see the construction noise model created by the five point sources and the moving source surrounding the construction site. Now I want to see the accumulated noise level of both the construction noise and the background noise. In this case I close down the background noise, I maximize my construction noise model and I open as a background model the background noise. In this case because I've got two models open I can now also show the accumulated noise contours. So now these are the accumulated noise contours of the background noise created by the road itself and the construction noise, the five point sources and the moving source surrounding the construction site. I can also show the difference between the construction noise and the background noise. In this case I go back to the contours and instead of accumulate I select difference. So the foreground model minus the background model. So the construction noise minus the background noise. In this case I can select another coloring and select the difference colors. That means that when it's lower it's green, when it's higher it's red. So it means that in these areas the noise of the construction is higher than the background noise. Also this can look at transparent noise contours. And you can look at in the 3D view. So transparent mode. And you can look at all the items in the 3D view. This concludes the video showing the predictor software used for construction noise projects. Thank you for your attention.